August 17th, 1258 p.m. We uh, think we finally have our gasifier on its way to, to being lit. We had to put some paper in there and then wood pellets on top of the paper. The flames from the paper weren't getting to the wood pellets effectively enough, so we had to put some pellets on top. And now you can see the pellets actually discoloring and starting to burn. We're not truly gasifying at this point yet. Um, I'm not convinced we are until we see more detachment of the flames at the top. But you can see the vapors coming off. You can see some uh, gas vapors. Um, there's, sorry, go ahead and hang that. Right down here in this area, you can see the white vapors coming up uh, off of the wood. And those vapors, uh, when they get to the top and start to mix in more air, they will begin to secondarily combust. So just get the temperature of this thing raised up, and hopefully you get a nice glowing bed of embers down there and fluidizing like we had yesterday. Again, the goal of this experiment is to see how well that diffuser nozzle works for the fluidization process. See if that works any better than a single uh, tube did that we used yesterday. You can also notice, while we're at it, here, right here on the, uh, the steel tube that we're using for directing the air down to the bottom of the bed, you can see some collection already of uh, tars. That's not soot. Those are actually semi-solid liquid uh, tars elements collecting on the tube. That's one of the byproducts you have with uh, vaporization, I should say with pyrolysis. Especially if you're not drawing the vapors through a hot bed of carbon, you get a fair amount of tar content. That's something we're hoping to avoid with our final gasifier design, is to get a nice clean gas so we can run in an engine without all this tar content. It looks like at this point we're starting to see more secondary combustion. I'm seeing some flames come up from the bed itself, but it looks like a lot of the flames are uh, arising right at the edge where air gets mixed in with the vapors. So we'll watch this thing for a few more minutes to see what happens.